Hello, this is Keith German with CCI Learning. Uh, I'm coming to you today with a brief overview of one of our primary support issues that's often reported by a student and or a teacher of theirs. And here it is. It is that the student has gone into Jasper Active Microsoft Office Specialist system. They've completed a lesson exercise. They feel very confident that they did everything correctly. And often they've even had a classmate or a teacher check their work and yet they still receive an incorrect mark after clicking submit. Of course, their first question is why? And then the obvious next question is, well, how can I get past this? How can I get this correct? How can I fix this? And so that's where we come in, but there are definitely some things you can do on your end prior to uh, submitting a support ticket or concluding that the exercise is incorrect, etc. So I just kind of want to cover those basic uh, tips and steps that you can uh, consider. So here it is. Oh no, a red X. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. And so a student has just completed a lesson exercise and the image on the left uh, is the first image that appears after they click submit. It's the result page. And as you see here, this particular student, they did a great job. They got three correct marks. They only got one incorrect, but that one certainly could impact their grade or it could impact their anxiety. Uh, you know, it's one of those people who just, I just gotta have all green marks, uh, those kind of things. So we wanna help them through that. And then once they click that return to Jasper Active button there, then the image on the right appears. And as you can see here, we do give you a legend at the bottom of the screen. And it will indicate here, as you can see, the half circle here says this is an exercise that is still in progress. And the red X that you see here on the learn button or in the details indicates that something is not yet quite correct. So uh, that's what we've got to address. This is what um, uh, causes this issue to be reported. So let's cover some of the things we can do. So common troubleshooting steps, first and foremost, and I'll take you through these visually, is Jasper Active running the most current version? That certainly could have an impact on grading exercise elements. Next, what version of Office is installed on this machine that's uh, running Jasper Active? Because Office compatibility with our Office courseware certainly uh, is important. And then certainly uh, related to that is, are there courses that you're learning in? Are they compatible with the Office version that you have installed on your machine? Uh, have you attempted this on another machine? If that's even possible, um, if it is, then certainly try that because it could be something very local with the environment of that particular machine. Uh, similarly, have you attempted this maybe using a different browser? So maybe I was using the Chrome browser initially. Uh, my question would be, have you attempted this in the Firefox browser? Have you attempted this in Edge? Uh, because sometimes the browsers have, you know, things that get hung up in cache or cookies uh, and that could cause uh, some office compatibility uh, issues. And, and the way to clear that up is if maybe one of the last things is that especially if you're using Google Chrome is if you're in Chrome you can go to the top right and click the three lines you can click history and then you can actually go in there and clear some of your browser history or the focus really here needs to be the clearing cache and cookies and and then closing everything down or refreshing and then attempting that exercise again so those are your common troubleshooting tips that we would encourage you to consider before reporting the issue uh, once, if you continue on and, uh, and you need to, so let's check our office compatibility or let's check to make sure that the system that you're working on is compatible with the Jazz Fractor technical specs that are out there. And I'm displaying those visually for you here. If you need to see those, you can go to support.jazzproactive.com and in the search bar, you can click technical. And then you'll, this is the, the croc image uh, that I have here. This is the image that you will find when you choose the Jasper Active technical requirements from your search results. Uh, notice we do support Office 2013, 2016, 2019, and Office 365, all Pro Professional Plus. 
Uh, it is also very critical, not just for Jasper Active, but also for your G-Metrics practice exams and for your Certiport Compass certification exams, that your, the office version on your machine has the semi-annual channel setting, not the monthly channel. That is something most likely you'll want to work with your IT team with, whether it's at your workforce development agency or your, your school, wherever that may be. Uh, I hope it goes without saying there as it's highlighted that obviously Jasper Active must be locally installed on your machine. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be in an exercise running courseware and getting an error. Um, so once you've logged in as a student, then you get the main menu bar at the top. That one of the icons there is the J icon as we call it. It has one of three possible small indicators in the bottom right corner of the circle. And those are illustrated here, what each of those mean. Uh, now, clearly if you have an X at your J, just stop there. Uh, you have more than an office compatibility or other issue. You actually don't have Jasper Active installed and that needs to be resolved first. Otherwise, if you are getting these errors, these red X's, then we need to go a little further in checking some of those things we just talked about, but especially the office compatibility. So you're probably, if you're, if you're reporting this to us or, or having this issue, you're probably got a J icon with an exclamation mark. All right, so once I'm in uh, as a student, of course, on the left, you have your, your courses list. Now, I depicted this intentionally here. Uh, notice on the left, I've got Microsoft Office 2016. So that's the courses that I'm learning in. And then I went out and I went and looked for my Microsoft Office account version information. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and look, wait a minute. I've got Office 365 Pro Plus. I've got a version 1908 semi-annual channel. Believe it or not, the image on the right is a compatible and a supported version, but it's not compatible with the Office Courses version that you're learning in. So you'll want to make sure that those match. Okay, so if that's one of the issues, we just need to get that resolved and you can work with your teacher to get the, maybe in this case, the Office 2019 courses to be learning in or you need to update your office and revert back to the 2016 version in this particular scenario. So once you're in, we talked about the J icon, uh, hopefully your, your screen looks like the one on the left, but, uh, but if it does, there's a good chance you're not going to be encountering those red X's uh, unless you did in fact do something wrong in the uh, exercise itself. Um, so that's what the left image is what you want your system look, to look at, but this is also my first chance to introduce you to our new compatibility checker, which is at the bottom of the J icon or the Jasper Active installer page. Uh, and then over to the right is what it looks like if you have the red X on it and, and our software depicts uh, that you actually have an incompatible version. Uh, in fact, we've taken it a step further and we've given you, as you see here in the green uh, box over here to the right, we actually have given you the opportunity to click that and we will work toward updating your Microsoft Office on your machine and getting it to a compatible version. And so you can certainly take that action as well. If you notice down here at the bottom of that right image, you will see here that we do list those technical requirements that I showed you just a few minutes ago. If maybe your IT team is asking for them, then you'll know where to find those. Not only from the support page, but also from this compatibility checker page as well. So that's, that's it there. Uh, let's actually take a look at some of the clicks in the software. So I'm actually gonna go into Jasper Active. Now notice I'm logged in here as a student. I have my My Courses I talked about. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the J. Ah, I do have the latest version, and hence that's why it also has a check mark. So one, it's installed, and two, it is the latest version. All right, so I check that. Um, now, oh, let me look here. Okay, it looks like I'm learning in Office 2019. So that's important to know because in a minute I'll check my Office version. So now let me click the J icon and when I do that, it will actually launch the Jasper Active Installer page. Now, if you're like me and your, your setting is such that you can't see it all, you can just scroll down and there it is, Microsoft Office Compatibility. And so this is what you'll want to check. And, and if there is a green button down here that because you're getting a red X and you're not compatible, then click that and work toward resolution. The other thing that uh, I pointed out was how to find your office version. So I'm gonna actually flip over here to Microsoft Word. 
Now, I just pick Word. You can pick Excel or PowerPoint. And all you do is just open up a blank document or spreadsheet or uh, slide. And you go to File. And you go down the left bar side and you go to Account. And there it is. Here is your Microsoft Office version information. If you ever wonder, how, what is my Microsoft Office version? How am I supposed to know? This is how you would get to it. You'd open up an Office product, click File, go to Account, and your Office version information is installed. If you look at this and you see now clearly why there's incompatibility, then you've already made huge strides toward resolving your issue and getting those uh, exercises to grade correctly. The last thing that I would uh, point out to you here is the support link, which will open up our Jazz Practice support page, or you could open up a tab and just go to the URL, which is support.jazzpractice.com. And this is where I was talking about where you could come in here and you could type in the word technical and it'll do a search on there and it'll find those JASPRACTIF technical requirements. So if your IT folks are asking about it or, or needing that information, then you, you now know where uh, to find that. So I encourage you to do just some of those typical troubleshooting steps. If the issue continues, if you've tried another machine, another browser, if you're compatible and everything, check, 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 and you're still getting the red X's, then please go to support.jazzproctor.com and submit a ticket to us so we can test and troubleshoot that. If we are able to duplicate your issue and we do find that it's an issue in the courseware uh, itself, then we will submit um, a, a trouble ticket to our product and development team. We'll set your ticket to pending status and notify you once that issue is resolved. If you're not able to use the website and submit a ticket, you can actually email us a ticket the same way. You can use the email address of help at jasperactor.com. We would just ask that if you submit a ticket via the website or email, notice the tip down there, please include some screen images, an image or images, uh, certainly of your office version and definitely of your course page that's showing the red X's with some instructions as to which exactly which exercise you're working in, which task within that exercise you were trying to complete, etc. Give us some details and we'll work toward resolving that with you. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Bye.